Alright, welcome back everyone. My name is Pertash here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I've got quite a bit to share with you all. So to get things started, we're taking a look at this here. Recently just announced from IOHK, they're coming out and saying that the first version of Daedalus for the Shelly testnet has just been launched. So I'm gonna be sharing with you all some details regarding that. Also, thank you to everyone who has participated in our recent giveaway. Recently, the channel has just crossed over 5,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody who has recently subscribed and who has been commenting and liking. I'm gonna be sharing with you all some details regarding our giveaway here in this video as well. And lastly, we're taking a look at a recent blog post from IOHK talking about Adrestia. So all of that is going to be here in this video, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so to get things started, we're taking a look at this article here on the Cardano blog and talking about some of the information regarding the latest version of Daedalus that has been released for the Shelly testnet. So it's saying that the first version of Daedalus will allow stake pool operators to test basic wallet functionality. It supports the creation, deletion, and restoration of Shelly wallets and transacting on the network. Shelly wallets can also be funded using the Shelly testnet faucet. Since this is not a release for the general ADA holder, this version of Daedalus is accessible only via our GitHub repository. In time, later versions will be provided via the usual web download. So this release is intended for stake pool operators. If you are a stake pool operator, definitely feel free to click on the link down in the description below. I'll have that link so that you can access the GitHub repo in order to go ahead and test this version out for yourself. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that as well and giving you all my thoughts. Uh, but essentially, if you're a stake pool operator, this is gonna be something that you can test out and start using right away. If you are a ADA holder, it's not to worry. You're gonna be able to test this version out very soon. There's gonna be a second edition for everyday ADA holders. Uh, giving some details regarding the process to download this. So it's saying if you are a stake pool operator running a pool on the testnet, we encourage you to download this version of Daedalus and give it a try. Getting feedback is a very helpful early input into our development process. We particularly encourage stake pool operators to try the following. So you can start a Daedalus application and create two new wallets. Sync the chain and record how long it takes. Note that this is an area where we anticipate significant optimization in the next release. If you already have some test data, use the node command line interface to fund one of your wallet addresses. Otherwise, obtain funds from the faucet for one of the two wallets. Create a transaction in Daedalus to send funds from the funded wallet to the other. Check when the transaction has succeeded, please note the time, and create an additional five separate transactions over a 24 hour period to send funds to yourself or to other testnet users, and create occasional transactions from then on. Note that the network isn't yet optimized for stress testing, so there is no value in this at this point, but this will give us a good sense of normal usage. So that's very cool. Uh, they're essentially trying to find all the bugs very early on with this version of Daedalus. So this is intended for stake pool operators. If you are a stake pool operator, I encourage you to do so. I think this is really gonna help get the necessary data to these developers so that they can optimize this for the mainnet. So that is what I have for you regarding the new version of Daedalus. Make sure you stay tuned when that does become available for ADA holders, I will be sure to keep you all posted. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at what we can expect coming up very soon. So today is June 16th. We have the Shelly test wallet available for stake pool operators. Coming up very soon on June 23rd, we can see the hard fork combinator test. And along with this, we're gonna see the balance check test as well coming up just very shortly after that. So if you are an ADA holder, this essentially is nothing that you need to worry about. Uh, the hard fork combinator test and the balance check test that's all happening under the hood. That's behind the scenes. Now on June 30th, we have the Shelly code release target. This essentially is gonna be when the code for the Shelly mainnet is gonna be available to entities such as exchanges to be able to get onboarded so that they're ready for the hard fork happening very soon after that on July 29th. 
So those are some things that we can anticipate here coming up very soon. I know these months are gonna fly by so quickly. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure to keep you all updated with that. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date. And last thing I wanted to share with you all here in this video today. So a recent blog post from IOHK talking more about Adrestia. With this article, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it and share with you guys some of my thoughts as to what I think this is going to do and how it's gonna help with implementing updates and adoption for the Cardano blockchain as time goes on. So for exchanges and developer partners, integrating with any blockchain can be challenging. The technology often moves so quickly that keeping up with the pace of change can be unrealistic. Cardano's development and release process are now driving things forward apace. Managing parallel software development work streams, moving at different speeds can feel a bit like changing the tires on a truck while it's driving at 60 miles per hour. Cardano's vision is to provide unparalleled security and sustainability to decentralized applications, systems, and societies. It has been created to be the most technologically advanced and environmentally sustainable blockchain platform, offering a secure, transparent, and scalable template for how we work, interact, and create as individuals, businesses, and societies. In line with these ambitions, we needed to devise a way that our partners could swiftly, easily, and reliably integrate with Cardano, regardless of what is going on under the hood. Whatever the pace and cadence of future rollouts, we wanted to develop a consistent method by which all the updates to the core node could be easily adopted by everyone. In order to make that integration and interaction with Cardano easier and faster, IOHK engineers formed the Adrestia team to take responsibility for building all the web APIs and libraries that make Cardano accessible to developers and application builders. Developments to the node can then focus on performance and scalability, while users will always be able to interact with it effortlessly. The name Adrestia was chosen after the goddess of revolt, because with these new interfaces, we expect everyone to be able to integrate with Cardano, creating a revolution in accessibility. Enabling developers to keep pace with change. The goal of the Adrestia team is to provide, via web APIs, a consistent integration experience so that developers can know what to expect between Cardano roadmap releases. Whether they are a wallet developer or an exchange, users can flexibly explore the chain, make transactions, and more. Now, the APIs are as follows. In addition to providing a flexible and productive way to integrate with Cardano, maintenance is also made easier. With consistency, it can often require less time to update integrations between releases. This familiarity reduces maintenance costs. New software can then deploy in days rather than weeks. Ultimately, anyone can keep pace with change. The results are now live in the Byron era of Cardano. Exchanges or third-party wallets using Cardano SL should now be integrating to prepare for the new Byron and upgrading to Shelly Wallet. These need to happen consecutively to avoid any outages. Full details have been added to the Adrestia team repo and we continue to work with our partners to ensure there is no interruption in service for ADA holders, keeping their funds on exchanges or in third-party wallets. The chart below shows the difference between the Cardano SL node and the upcoming Shelly node. Components in red are non-Shelly compatible and will break after the hard fork, while the other components are Shelly compatible and will be supported during and after the hard fork. Consistency is key in creating a blockchain network that works for everyone. Cardano is not being built for the next five or 10 years, but for the next 50. Change to the system is inevitable in that time, but Adrestia was made to ensure that everyone can connect with the Cardano node. To get started, check out the Adrestia project repo and read the user guide. All right, guys, so lots of cool things there. I think it's very relevant as we can see the amount of updates happening with transitioning the mainnet client over from the Byron era over to the Shelly era. And especially now, as we can see with this new version of Daedalus being meant for stake pool operators, I think having Adrestia as a solution to be able to facilitate future upgrades down the road, it's gonna really streamline the entire process. It's gonna make things seamless for developers. So really cool to see that. I'm glad that they were able to provide some information regarding that. I think it's incredible, especially if you are in the development world.
And lastly, I wanna make sure I touch on this as well. So big thank you to everyone who has entered in the giveaway. If you do want to check out who has won, I'm gonna be posting that on my Twitter. Be sure to follow Kaizen Crypto. So if you want to stay up to date and informed with Cardano related news and content, check out the Twitter page. I post very frequently, almost every day, talking about relevant news, price action, development updates, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay tuned and informed with all the relevant content that I'm putting out for you guys. So that is what I have for you all here today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did stay tuned to the very end, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like for me if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.